Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to stuff a butternut squash. This is a nice vegan, gluten-free, oil-free recipe for the Thanksgiving holidays. It's going to be full of a lot of different healthy vegetables. So first we're going to cut a butternut squash in half, take out the seeds, and we're going to roast in the oven at 350 degrees for about 50 minutes to 1 hour. To a hot pan, we're going to add 1 chopped up onion, 5 cloves of garlic minced up, we're going to add 2 chopped up uh, celery stalks, 2 carrots chopped up as well, 2 leaves of sage chopped up, salt and pepper, we're going to cook that around, we're going to add in a cup of chopped up mushrooms, and then we're going to add in a quarter cup of dried cranberries, a quarter cup of walnuts, then we're going to add in 1 cup of quinoa and 1 cup of wild rice. Now we're going to have a little extra leftover filling, we're going to add in 32 ounces of stock, but that's okay, you can always say that for later. So we're going to have these butternut squashes hollowed out and we're going to stuff it with our filling as soon as it is done cooking. Then we're going to add a little extra cranberry and uh, walnuts in the center to give it a little crunch. And we're going to push the two sides back together and we're going to truss it. Trussing is a type of tying. Really any kind of knots will do as long as they kind of secure it all the way around. It needs to be very tight to the point where you can hold it and hang it and it does not fall apart. Then we're going to roast it back in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes and this should help it seal up a little more, um, cook it a little more, and make it a little more crispy. Then we're going to slice it. I'm going to serve it with some mashed potatoes that are vegan, a nice vegan mushroom onion sauce, and that's, that's going to be my Thanksgiving dinner right there. Thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed.